Good evening, teacher. Hello, Mr. Angel. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. How was the traffic by your home? Well, now I um, I don't I didn't go on the bus because I work right now in at home. Ah, so you don't know the traffic. Yes. Nice. Mr. Manuel, welcome. How was your day, Mr. Manuel? Hello, good evening. Good evening. Uh, thank you for your ask, for you ask me. Um, uh, I'm okay. Uh, today I, I had an appointment with the doctor and he, she told me uh, it's okay, it's only... <laughs> Your health is take, okay. Take a message. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank nice. you. And thank God. Thank God. Thank God you are okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Amen. 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 Thank God, yeah. Good. Mr. Daniel Ezequiel, welcome. How was your day, mister? How many tickets did you receive today? I don't know. Maybe 20. 20. Okay. Less than yesterday. Yes. And the traffic too. <laughs> ah, the traffic. I yeah. work in Zona Rosa. Ah, so yes. yeah, yeah, I know. The thing is that there is a hole. Yes, a uh, of Paseo. It's Paseo. Centro Comercial Paseo. There is see, a hole on the street. So that is an important street. So oh. the traffic is I have to work. Rushed. Oh, the, the, today the traffic is is crazy, and yeah. when when I come when I come back my house is I need to to pass or I need to I need to drive I need to drive for for the uh, salon exactly uh, for the street. Oh mm -hmm. my God, it's terrible, terrible. It's yeah, about it's about two, two, two p.m. It's, it's it's very it's really crazy the traffic. Yeah, I know. That's why today I I took an alternative street. I I I live close to Redondo Ferrer, so I need to pass for that street. But the traffic by that time was super heavy, so I <laughs> took an alternative street. Where do you live, teacher? I live close to Redondelma Ferrera. You know. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it's... You have the neighborhood, Sabrina. <laughs> yeah, she lives close to my... Close to my neighbor. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> very Mr. famous. Mr. Daniel Ezequiel works in Zona Rosa, so he works close to... No, no, no. I it's live also... in Santa... <laughs> No, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, in close Santa Tecla to Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla is close to my my neighborhood. Uh... So one of these days we can have a meeting speak in English. Meanwhile, we drink a coffee. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Mm, yeah. We are we are we have a group. <laughs> ah, okay. But... Please, please. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan, tell me, Mr. Daniel. Uh, uh, today I will be listed there because I have a family emergency, okay. but I will be listed there. Perfect, no problem, Mr. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. All right, Mr. Osbin, how was your day, Mr. How was your Friday? Uh, great, teacher. Thank you. Um, I am happy because it's Friday. Yeah, today is and, Friday. And tomorrow I will rest. Ah, nice. Incredible. I like it. Yeah, okay. today is Friday. Some of you receive the payment, the payment. Some other will receive the payment until the end of this month. Okay. But we can resist. 
you can resist. Mm -hmm. And also it's Friday, uh, the vacations are closed. So people are crazy for the shopping, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, also we have Carcavas on the streets. <laughs> Everything is crazy. Okay, everybody, well. Everybody is waiting for Black Friday. Yeah, I know. Every, everyone, exactly. Our people are wearing it's for... today. Today is a Black Friday. No, no. <laughs> it is after. No, no it's, in a, November. it's November. No, it's oh, November. It's after uh, Thanksgiving. If I'm not wrong, Thanksgiving is Thursday and Black Friday is Friday, if I'm not wrong. The Thanksgiving is celebrated in the last third day of October. Exactly. Okay, you see, the last, the last Thursday, when? Black Friday is, is Friday. Es el último miércoles, no. No, Thursday. 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 In the school, we, we celebrate this, uh, oh, this really? holiday. Ah, yes. it's cierto. You don't, you don't work. Yes, we will at, at work, but I don't do the... You don't give the class. I don't give the class, yes. Ah, nice. Uh, we we will we have a lot of food ahí. Ah, nice. You eat turkey. Yo preferiría quedarme. Yo preferiría quedarme. Yo era la estudiante que decía. You, si you no eat... voy a ir a clase, yo me quedo en la casa. No. This day we eat. Hay una cara si no ya se conoce con la gente. You, you eat turkey that day. Turkey. No, turkey, no. Um, the the students uh, the students bring the the tamales pupusas ah, sandwich it's like and, Thanksgiving the Salvadorian Thanksgiving yes and and put in the in the table mm -hmm. and everybody take a take yes take a drink night. it's you, very you, you work in a bilingual school yes in a escuela bilingüe in San Benito San Benito. Okay, nice. And you're a teacher? Yes. What what subject do you teach? Spanish teacher. <laughs> ah, Spanish. Is it Spanish. like language? Lenguaje? Uh, yes. Bueno, um, todas las materias de español. Ah, social, okay. Social, social, lenguaje, okay. lectura. Ah, nice. Uh, uh, what grades? Third grade? Uh, fourth grade. Ah, fourth grade. Nice. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, we need to start the class. Uh, we're going to remember the use of uh, the WH question. Okay. Today, in this class, we're going to go over the vocabulary from lesson from unit three. And also, we're going to practice the indirect question. The indirect question. So I'm going to share a screen. Okay, number one, is your birthday? When? When? Let me see. When? Time do you have dinner? What time? What time do you have dinner? Do you like eggs for breakfast? How do you like? How do you like eggs for breakfast? Okay. Scramble or fry eggs? Um, who is your best friend? Okay. Who is your best friend? Your best friend? Where, Where is your bedroom in the house? Do you, do you visit, visit your, your grandparents? Parent? Excellent. Perfect. Okay. We got good, good score. Excellent. Okay. That was super short, it was super easy. Okay, we're gonna practice another one. Okay. Hold on. Okay, the WH question. Okay, here we go. I'll share a screen. Oh, this. 
What do you do? What do you do? Excellent. What do you do? Next. What? What, what? is your name? What's your name? Where are you going? Where where are you going? Good. When when is your Friday? Your birthday? Perfect. How are they? You said who? Who, sorry. Okay. Who? Is this pencil? It's mine. Who's, which who's, which is whose? Who's? Excellent. Possessive, right? Possessive. Why are you crying? Why are they crying? Perfect. Why are they crying? In next option. Which which what? Which hat? Like? Which hat do you like? Perfect. <clears throat> Eight nine. How, How are you? Oh. How? How are you? How? How are you? Why? Exactly. I don't know why I can select. How? Yeah, how. It is how. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened. I got stuck. Okay, but it was how. Okay, good. It didn't stop? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Well, uh, that was the practice of WH question. Okay, WH question, remember, are to formulate questions. Okay, today we're going to go over the direct, the direct questions and indirect questions. But that topic we're going to study later on. Right now, I'm going to start taking the attendance list. Uh, tell me, Mr. Mr. Julio Cesar, what date is it today? What date is it today? What date? What date is it today? Is it Tuesday? Is it Friday? Is it Monday? Okay, I guess your I guess your microphone doesn't work. You me teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what day is it today? It's Friday. Friday, now, okay. Friday, um, um, Friday um, 14. Uh, 14. Exactly. Yeah. It's Friday and the body knows. Good. Okay. Knows that has to sleep, obviously, and rest. Good. No, okay. knows, knows we have English class. <laughs> After English class. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm going to start. Benitez Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Welcome. Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. López Pérez. López Pérez. Okay. Um, Florent. Mr. Florent, he's, he's a, he has an emergency. Yeah, Alvarez, yeah, yeah. I, I listen to you. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Alvarez, present teacher. Miranda Rodriguez. Miranda Rodriguez. Abelar Cortez. Present. Good. Valdez Gómez. Valdez Gómez. Here. Thank Good you, Mr. Good evening. Aguirre Chavarria. Present. Merino Gonzalez. Merino Gonzalez. Present. 
Ramírez Arevalo. Ramírez Arevalo. Cuellar de Barrientos. Ventura de Valdés. Present. Thank you. Galicia Gertrudis. Galicia Gertrudis. Escamilla Jurado. Present, teacher. Mancilla Gutiérrez. Present, teacher. Cornejo Erazo. Present, teacher. Vázquez Romero. Vázquez Romero. Flores Hernández. Present, teacher. García Oriana. Thank you, mister. Present. Thank you. Vázquez Vázquez. Vázquez Vázquez. Gómez García. Present, teacher. Thank you. Oriana del Cid. Present, teacher. Good. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, let's go straight to the indirect questions. You can find this topic in the, let me see. Ah, we have, I forgot, we had a group work, the group work. We're going to finish the group work after, after this. We're going to have the indirect question. Okay, this was the, the group work, for example, you had to prepare a presentation, a, go back to the new product description you create in unit one, you remember? Make the list of features as specific and detailed as possible. Brainstorm the materials needed to create the prototype. List the benefits of building a prototype of your new product. Okay, that was the activity that we couldn't finish yesterday because we, we didn't have enough time. So today we're going to end it up and you have to tell us the material that you need to create a prototype based on the product you create in the unit number one. Okay, so how long do you think it is enough to finish this activity? How long? Is it okay? Five minutes? More? More time? Less time? I think five minutes, it's five minutes. Okay, to finish the group activity. Okay, when we come back, uh, we're going to have the, you have to present in front of your classmates, the product, and then we're gonna have the indirect and direct questions. Okay, let's start. I'm going to be in the different breakup rooms in case you need help. With product. Yesterday we we make a presentation in Geniali. I don't know you you are using this. Uh, a healthy food. This is a, a presentation like a PowerPoint, but it's in, in, in online. Ah, okay. Um, we can uh, edit the this. It's in PowerPoint or not? It's online. It's online. Uh, the, this platform is Geniali. Mm, okay. Uh, we can add the images. Shampoo. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, we we can um find the. The imagines so mm. 
This great app. Shampoo. I don't. Shampoo. Um. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't match. Okay. Okay. We can use the the, the images. I don't know what you like. Para cabello sedoso, suave. The hair and shoulder. Hair and shoulder. In, in, in my AC is the most popular. For it's more popular resources. Yes. Head and shoulder is for men. Yes, for men. Yes, is is this is fragrance uh, very good. This uh, this for men. For men. Yes. Okay. With or will or spy. For men. Okay. Um, which this now <laughs> okay which old spy <laughs> which old spy yes is in is it like a, Julius like old, old spy which old spy which old spy Spice. and natural product but i have this idea but i don't know if you want to to change or maybe add something else i like the colors como se dice dulce <laughs> sounds, sweet. sounds very sweet that pupusas because it's corn i don't know or salad <laughs> No, the pup the pupusas is so are salad. It's the same. Just have a color. Okay. In Oluquilta, they are uh well. I don't remember if now they are, but um, I remember there are a a festival of pupusa, and the people create a, a pupusas color, a variety of pupusas of color, and make a, a different kind of plates or maybe I don't know whatever food but yes, it's the same the the pupusas are the same just add the the color but no don't the color don't change the fla the flavor <laughs> the flavor is the same mm. I think but I but but you you use a uh, artificial co flavor color. color. Yes, it's a decline artificial edible because, colors because uh, our corn are naturally with different colors. We have corn black corn, for example. Yes, they are different. For example why with black, a natural with a natural, also, natural color yellow so that's okay but in, in that kind of pupusas are uh, artificial <laughs> edible colors como ar colores comestibles artificiales yes i understand but they don't change the flavor the, the flavor is the same just change the the color the Are you done? Ya casi, teacher. Para empezar, que nos cambió el producto, nos cambió todo, porque estamos en grupos diferentes. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I forgot it. What is the product, Angela? Eh, una bebida natural. Okay. What is the ingredient? Sorry, I can hear you. Angela, what, what is ML? Okay. Um, Carrot. Carrot. Maybe, uh, exactly. maybe. A variety of products that pupus. <laughs> yeah, the screen, the different plan. Exactly. But I think it's, it's good because you want you can test a different Flavors. flavor. Uh -huh. So and also you, for example, in Oluquilta, there are a, a festival that yeah. a lot of people around come here and the people test a, a pupusa and select a, a the beginner, a, a, the flavor of pupusa that begin, begin and that winner, sorry. And that kind of pupusa sometimes export to another country or maybe for example, last year, as I remember, I went to to Pupusa's festival, and the the Pupusa. It's in November, right? Uh huh. We we one was a uh, the chicharrón. Oh. Yes, and a company of Honduras, I think, bought a a lot quantity of pupusas to export to that company, to Honduras company. Okay. When are you um, going to invite us, Mr. Angel, to eat some pupusas? <laughs> some flavor, some colors, pupusas. <laughs> yes, with you can you you can you can hear <laughs> and test a different kind of pupusas. Oh, really? Garlic pupusas. For example, in near to my to my how do you say colonia teacher? Neighborhood. Right. Near to my neighborhood, there are uh a Luquiltas pupusodromo. And ah, that okay. they are different kind of pupusas, garlic, carrot, or onion, eh, chili some pepper. Pupus, exactly, Loroco, yeah. or maybe some people made a pupusas about Avocado. Oh my god. That sounds like taco. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, right. But oh. uh, the, the foreign people love that kind of pupusa. As really? I remember uh, sometime the my family participate in a in a festival and mm -hmm. the my family create a avocado pupusas and made a plantain pupusas, but come to 
uh, foreign people and, and say, wow, it's delicious. Give me five pupusas. And the people eat and say, wow, it's amazing. The, mm -hmm. the people was very, <laughs> very uh, satisfied. Ah, okay. Yes. Nice. So your family create the plantain pupus? Yes, but the seed, for example, they they create uh for example four type of pupusa, but the the winner was avocado, and at the at the for example the number seven was a plantain mm. because the people say mm, have a a little sweet sometimes, mm -hmm. but but it's not as good I mean, as as to me as to me as a bocado pupusa. Aha, exactly. <laughs> okay, got it. Teacher, do you like pupusas? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I am Salvadorian. How about you? <laughs> no, for me, no. Much. She doesn't like pupusas. <laughs> she does like. It. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's not yes. bad. Wow. When but then normally is all people like pupusa, but in my case, I eat by sometimes. Okay, and what is your favorite food? I prefer Mexican food and Korean food. I like to cook and I make pupusas, but, but I don't eat I eat one pupusa. Okay. <laughs> good yes. that is the first that is the first time that I hear someone doesn't like to eat too much <laughs> oh my you love, I know but you like Korean food right Korean meal. yes Korean and how is the taste in Mexico ah Mexican delicious what is your favorite restaurant Mexican food um donkeys it's, it's, like it's similar, it. and the and the neighborhood La Sultana is um, El Sótano. Okay. El Sótano, I like it. Okay, I, I like. Work, donkey. I work next to Donkey. Zona <laughs> mm, eh, Santa Elena. Zona eh. Rosa. I work oh, in okay. Centro Comercial Bambú City Center. Ah, really? Okay. So he. There is a donkey. I like tostones from donkey. I like it. Yes. <laughs> For me, I, yeah. I ate all the lunch here in that place. <laughs> but it's quite expensive, right? A little yes. bit. Expensive. Yeah. It's very expensive. I like the sausages also, the salsas. Yes. I'm <laughs> hungry. <Time> is over. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Okay. Okay. okay, people, uh, it's time to present the product, okay, and list why are important the prototype. Remember the prototype is the first product you create, okay? Before uh, selling the product you create, like la prueba, okay? So in this way, you know pe if people like or not the product that you create. All right, so let's get this started. I don't know if we got volunteers. Mr. I guess Mr. Let me see. Mr. Angel, I, I, I think you're ready with your presentation. Yes, we are we are ready. Okay, can you share a screen and explain to us the product, the material? Okay. I will start and after my partner continue to read about my presentation. That's, I will share. No problem. Okay, this is this is my presentation about pupusas. Um, new flavor 
and variety of colors. You can see that it's very appetizing, I think. <laughs> okay. The first, the features and details. It is a thick tortilla based on corn or rice thought, thought, filled with ground plantain, cheese, and beans. And the client likes artificial edible colors can be added if the people I want also. Uh, this is, a, for example, well, we have a lot of kind of pupusas, but this is a, a new product what the, for example, uh, we launch. Okay. okay. And that is, that is real, right? That is your own product. Yes. This okay. is a real in Oluquilta. <laughs> okay. Uh, my partner, help me. Material need to create a prototype. Corn on rice dough, rib plain, cheese, refried beans, garlic, onion, vegetable, shortening. How do you say it, teacher? Shortening. Shortening. Yeah, and ref refries. Refry ref beans. Refry beans. Exactly. Okay. Um, Next. Okay. Benefit, <laughs> uh, or maybe Daniel, do you want to continue? Okay. <laughs> the benefits of building a prototype we have, it's a, inno, it's a product innovation and the people can taste a new product. Uh, the people can see how appetizing the pupusas are and people can look variety of color we have four colors green red yellow and blue and the most important uh, we use natural ingredients natural just that teacher good what do you think it is important to create a prototype well, I think it's very, very important because uh, the people, if you don't have a prototype, you don't know if the product uh, will be a- Accept. Yes, accept by the people. Nice. Uh, for example, when you create a product, you need to, to try to make a product, but you need to to decide what, what uh, kind of product do you do you use for create or maybe when you finish the create a prototype uh, to give you uh, some people to test and the people accept or they uh, are or the, or the things also. that you can improve exactly excellent okay good thank you mister i don't know if we have another volunteer who wants to share with us the product you create and the ingredients or the elements you need and why do you think to create a prototype it's very important anyone Is there any group who wants to participate? Nosotros no alcanzamos a terminar del todo, teacher, pero sí tenemos algunos pasos. Okay, don't worry, you can show us. Okay. José René, no sé si alcanzó a... Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. for, Manuel también está con nosotros. For the make... For the make... Uh, the proof in the in this case shampoo with shampoo I don't know. Manza, no. 
Champú, chamoy, with plantain, and... Ah, solo eso. <ríe> ok. En español es champú con manzanilla y plátano. <ríe> ok. De, de, eh, lo, de, los pasos sería... Sorry, me trabé. Ok. The fear is the idea production that is the brainstorming because it is the fear step and consistent of looking for innovate idea. In this case, later the booking of idea, business analysis, development of marketing strategies. Exactly. Product develop, development, market text, and finish commercialization. Commercialization, así es. Commercialization, exactly. Comer uh -huh. This is the steps for, for making. Okay, in, good. In, in design the product. Excellent. Okay, the shampoo. Okay. What was the, the main ingredient? I forgot it. Okay, uh, and, the, and the least of the material of the products required is um, chamonix, banana, and water, aloe, aloe, vera, aloe vera sands, glycerin, oil, oil, and salt. And identify the type of, machi of machinator necessary for the production. We need the different machinator, patron skull, baker, test stove, bottles, beside the different materials. Materials. Materials, sorry, sorry, okay. material. Sabrina? She was yes. close. <laughs> the method that we, would, that we will use for the production uh, is handwork. Uh, Manuel Antonio, Jose René and I are going to mix the ingredients in the containers. We will cover the containers and we will put them in the boxes. And uh, we think that the benefit um, of use this product is the new experience, the new fragrance when, while taking a shower. Excellent. Okay, so get ready your money you can get one of those with this group okay give me you... 10 give me 10 <laughs> take my money <laughs> okay if you get ball ball calvo pelón b o l d l d bolt okay like a bowl okay. <laughs> re re repeat teacher a ball or bowl but I'm going, to, I'm going to type it here in the chat. Okay. It is with A. So these kind of people, they don't need to shave or comb. Uh, I want to say that, okay. teacher. I'm sorry, tell me. Oh, it's been sorry. <laughs> I was in your group, but the teacher changed me in another group and me llevé el producto. <laughs> you took the product. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. Okay, another another group, another another group who wants to participate. Okay, well, we're going to go over the topic that is called uh, indirect and direct questions. Okay, indirect and direct question. Okay, in some parts, okay, I'm going to speak in Spanish. In some others, I'm going to continue explaining in English. Okay, so let's start. Okay, we have, first of all, we need to identify the difference between direct and indirect question. The difference between direct and indirect 
questions. Does anybody know what direct question is? Does anybody know? Or does anybody know what indirect question is? Does anybody know? Alguien sabe que es direct, eh, pregunta directa e indirecta? And we ask for something, for specific something. Specific, okay, specific information. Exactly, the, the direct, direct question are the commonly the common question that we use for example what's your name where do you live uh, where do you work uh, let me see how do you come to school how do you come to work who is your best friend okay that those are direct questions direct questions for example uh, the direct questions are the normal question that we can ask friends, family members, and people who we know well. Okay. Direct question. Okay. Uh, este tipo de preguntas son como las que usualmente ya conocemos. Okay. Cuando hacemos, cuando utilizamos, hey, where do you live? Who's your best friend? Y aquí menciona que es ese tipo de pregunta que podemos utilizar con nuestros amigos, porque Al ser demasiado directa las preguntas, se pueden tomar como un tono, podemos decirlo informal. Ok, that is the direct question, the normal question. For example, uh, where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? That is direct question. Now we're going to see the indirect question. Okay, las preguntas indirectas pueden ser catalogadas como esas preguntas donde el nivel de formalidad es más alto. Okay, es una pregunta formal que podemos utilizar con personas quien, a quienes no conocemos. Eh, Se refieren con mucho respeto, usualmente cuando se llama un servicio al cliente, es, es bastante utilizada ese tipo de pregunta. Y hay un, siempre hay una frase introductoria. Por ejemplo, me gustaría saber, podría saber, ok, muy buenas ideas. For example, indirect questions are a little more formal and polite, formales y De mayor y mayor cortes. De mayor cortesía. Eh, we use them when talking to a person we don't know very well. Or in professional situations in their form in their form is little different. Okay, they are different. For example, eh, of an indirect question. Miss Sabrina, can you help us to read the indirect question, please? Indirect questions are a little more formal and polite. We we use them when talking to a person we don't know very well or in professional situation and their form is a little different. Example, continue, please. Example of an indirect question. Could you tell me where the bathroom is? Excellent. Okay, so as you can see, we have an, introdu an introdu introduction a phrase. Okay. Um, here we have, what is the, the phrase that we are using to introduce the question? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Okay, me podría decir. Could you tell me? Okay, also, the order is different. The order, el orden de la pregunta va a ser diferente. Y diremos, where the bathroom is. Ok, como pueden darse cuenta, pueden darse cuenta. Si usted, usted escribe, where is the bathroom, estaría haciendo doble pregunta. Doble pregunta, porque aquí ya estamos haciendo la primera. Could you? Could you? Could you? Aquí está la primera pregunta. Entonces, 
no podemos hacer dos preguntas en una sola. Entonces tenemos que hacer eh, esta frase directa. ¿Cómo se hace directa? Colocando el verbo al final. Where the bathroom is. Tenemos las W question, el sujeto y el verbo. Ok, we're going to see more example. <coughs> Okay, uh, we need phrases for indirect questions. Phrases for indirect questions. We can use phrases such as, could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering. Do you have, do you have any idea? I like to know. I like to know, would it be possible? Is there any chance? Oh, so these are phrases that you can use for indirect question. Esos son tipos de, de frases introductorias que se pueden utilizar para crear una pregunta indirecta. ¿Cuáles son las equivalencias? Por ejemplo, me podría decir, Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Me podría decir a dónde está el baño. Could you tell me where the bathroom is? Do you know? Sabe usted? Do you know? Do you know where the bathroom is? Do you know where the bank is? Eh, I was wondering. I was wondering. Me estaba preguntando. Me estaba preguntando. Ok. Eh, do you have any idea? Do you have any idea? ¿Tiene alguna, pre ¿Tiene alguna idea de? Ok. I like to know. I like to know. Me gustaría saber. I like to know where the bathroom is. I like to know where the bathroom is, for example. I like to know where the hospital is. Okay, would it be possible? Sería posible? Would it be possible? Is there any chance? Is there any chance? ¿Habrá alguna oportunidad? Is there any chance? Okay, so these are phrases you can use for indirect question. Examples. Where is the Palmacera Street? ¿Cómo podríamos convertir esta pregunta en una pregunta indirecta? Primero debemos de colocar una frase introductoria de las que estudiamos anteriormente. ¿Alguna de estas? ¿Cuál es, cuál es le gustaría? Which one do you think? Do you know? Use? I'm sorry? Do you know? Do you know? ¿Usted sabe? Okay. Where Valacela where Street is? Excellent. Very good. Do you know another phrase that we can use? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? ¿Podría decir? Ajá. Uh -huh. Continue. I was wondering where is Balmaceda Street. I was wondering. One more time. Was I was wondering. I was wondering where Balmaceda Street is. Perfect. Where Balmaceda Street is. Teacher, ¿y por qué coloca el is al final? ¿Por qué? Si decimos, do you know where is Balmaceda Street? Estamos cometiendo, estamos realizando dos preguntas en una sola, lo que gramaticalmente es incorrecto. Entonces, para convertir esta frase, para convertir esta oración, o esta pregunta, perdón, en oración, tenemos que cambiar el verb to be adelante del sujeto, para que ya no sea doble pregunta. Ok, let's see the example. Could you tell me where the Balmaceda Street is? 
indirect. Could you tell me where the Balmaceda Street is? What time? Ah, ok. En esta, en este tipo de horas, en este tipo de pregunta, eh, aquí eh, fijémonos bien, porque también tenemos diferentes tipos de preguntas. En aquella era con el verb to be, ¿verdad? Is or are. En esta es, esta es eh, con un verbo que sería open. Entonces, para convertirla a una oración indirecta, Vamos a eliminar das or do. Y si es tercera persona, tenemos que pluralizar el verbo. ¿Cómo se repluraliza el verbo? Si es tercera persona, tenemos que agregar s o es. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. I'm going to give you an example. Do you know what time the bank opens? Do you know what time the bank opens? Ok, nuevamente, no podemos tener dos preguntas. Entonces, la, la introductoria, la frase introductoria, la cual es, do you know, ¿verdad? Sabes, ya, ya, es, ya es una pregunta. Por lo tanto, para convertir lo de amarillo en, una, en un complemento, tenemos que eliminar das y agregarle es s al verbo open, para no cometer eh, error gramatical. For example, do you know what time the bank opens? Si dijera bancos, ¿cómo iría la oración? Do you know what time the banks open? Perfect. En ese caso yeah. ya no tendríamos que agregar ese al verbo, porque ya no... Únicamente grabamos SOS cuando utilizamos tercera persona. Ok, let's continue. Let's continue with another, another example. Ok, in the indirect question, we don't use auxiliary do or does or did. Like I said, I'm going to, if you want to take on the screen, on the screenshot of this sentence, or if you want to take note, May I continue? Yes, teacher. Good. What did you move to Chile? Okay. First of all, what do we need to make an indirect question? What do we need first? Can you tell me? Okay, can, okay, oh, okay. Can I would prefer me? could, because could is podría. It's could. more for. Okay, could you tell me why you moved to Chile? To Chile. Okay, si la oración está en pasado, ¿qué debemos de agregarle al verbo? Yes. Si vamos a eliminar eh, did, ¿Qué debemos agregarle al verbo para que esto que no, agregarse? Bien. Está en pasado. ¿Qué le vamos a agregar al verbo para convertirla siempre en pasado? Si no, no, Excelente. Very good. Y diría, I was wondering, me estaba preguntando, I was wondering why you moved to, to Europe, why you moved to Chile. Why you move to El Salvador? Why you move to United States? I was wondering. Estaba preguntando. I was wondering why to move to. Okay, may I continue? Yes. Good. Remember, there is no auxiliary verb did in the indirect question. 
how much does the, the iPhone 7 cost? Well, now we have the 13. 14, I forgot the name, the number. Okay, first we need, I mean, we need a phrase. We have a lot. Which one would you like to use? What phrase would you like to use at the beginning? For example, I would like to know okay. how much. I'm... Tell me, tell me. I would like to know to. To know. I would like to know how much the iPhone Seven cost. Make. Okay. With S, exactly. Why, Miss Sabrina? Why? Because it's third person. Third person in past. In no, in present. No, in present. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Si es pasado, agregamos ED. Si es regular. O lo cambiamos al pasado si es irregular también. Y si es en presente, nos fijamos si es tercera persona para agregar S o S al verbo. Ok. And here we have. I like to know how much the iPhone 7 cost. Okay. Here you have the example. Okay, may I continue? Yes. Good. Uh, is there any part that you don't get and you want me to explain again? Or is it, is it clear? It is clear. Maybe repeat. Could you repeat, please? Uh, what part? Uh, that um, before example. Okay, good. Just let me finish this part and I'm going to explain it again, no problem. Thank you, teacher. All right. Okay. Okay, here you have can you finish the, okay, this is, okay, um, okay, okay, here we go, tenemos preguntas directas e indirectas, which are direct? How would you explain direct question? How would you explain direct question? Is when I I want to know the other specific. Exactly, and specific info, right? Commonly, the direct questions are used like uh, with friends, family, in normal. Okay, uh, for example, questions that we commonly use, okay, with our friends, okay, with our family, the normal question that we know. For example, exa uh, where is the bathroom? Where is the bathroom? Okay, es una pregunta directa, es eh, información específica, puede ser tomada como un poco informal eh, y se puede utilizar con nuestros amigos, con nuestra familia, porque ya tenemos un grado de confianza. Pero en las, en las preguntas indirectas, al ser eh, con un poquito de mayor formalidad 
y cortesía, para sonar educados, podemos decir, agregamos frases introductorias. Por ejemplo, estas frases introductorias ayudan a que el ver, a que la pregunta suene más formal. Por ejemplo, si usted llama a un, si usted es un operador, un agent en un call center, ok, este tipo de preguntas son, son esenciales. Por ejemplo, y al usarlas, como repito, usted va a sonar más formal, más cortés, ok, no va a sonar como de choque. Entonces tenemos, por ejemplo, could you tell me? Me podría, de, me podría decir. Could you tell me? Me podría decir. Could you tell me? Ya no, les, ya no le preguntamos directamente al cliente. Tell me your name. Or what is your name? Ok, porque es una pregunta eh, que me mola un poco directa. Entonces para suavizar la pregunta agregamos este tipo de frases. Could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering, do you have any idea? I'd like to know. Would it be possible? Is there any chance? Is there any chance? Is there any chance? Is there any chance? ¿Hay alguna posibilidad? Is there any chance? Would it be possible? Would it be possible? Would it be possible? Sería posible. Would it be possible? Sería Would posible. possible? Would it be possible? I'll, I'll, I like to know. Me gustaría saber dónde vive usted, por ejemplo. I like to know where you live. Do you live? I do where live. You, where wow. you live. Uh -huh. uh, do like you have any idea? You. Tiene alguna idea? Tiene alguna idea de? I was wondering, me estaba preguntando. I was wondering. Um, do you know, usted sabe? Could you tell me, me podría decir? Bueno, ahora que ya tenemos una frase introductoria, una frase introductoria para la pregunta indirecta, debemos de modificar el orden de, por ejemplo, una de esta. Where Where is Balmacera Street? Y debemos de modificar el orden porque en una, en una, en una pregunta con una frase introductoria ya no podemos hacer dos preguntas en una sola. Entonces debemos de convertir lo, el complemento en una parte directa. En este caso ya tenemos la parte introductoria. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Acá ya está formada una pregunta. Could you? Could you? Ya es una, una pregunta. Could you tell me? Me podría decir. Después, uh, tenemos que, para que ya no sea pregunta, debemos de mover el verb to be hacia adelante y decir, Could you tell me where Palmacera Street is. Could you tell me where Balmacera Street is? Okay, and this is the indirect question with is, are, the verb comes after the subject. En una pregunta indirecta, y, si, y la pregunta lleva is or are, lo vamos a colocar después de el sujeto. Okay, may I continue with this part? Yes, continue. Thank you. Teacher. Okay, anytime. All right, what time does the bank open? Acá, ¿qué tipo de pregunta es lo de amarillo? ¿Directa o indirecta? Direct. 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 ¿Cómo la hacemos indirecta? Primero, ¿qué debemos de colocar? The phrase polite. Okay, the phrase. Which what phrase would you like to use? Do you yeah. know? Do you know? Yeah. Okay. Do you know 
What, what time? time the bank opens. ¿Y por qué aquí eliminamos das y por qué agregamos ese verbo? Como les decía, no podemos, no podemos tener... No podemos tener dos preguntas en una sola. Entonces, dos auxiliares. Exacto, y dos auxiliares. Por lo tanto, vamos a quedarnos solo con la, primer, con la primera. Do you know? Y hay una pregunta. Do you know? What time? Eliminamos das. Y tenemos que eliminar das. Tenemos que pluralizar el verbo, ya que estamos hablando de el banco, the bank. Do you know what time the bank opens? Teacher. Tell me. Mm, well, I, if I understand, I think is the verb is in past. Uh, for example, did or, but the verb uh, is in past. An auxiliary. Mm -hmm. auxiliary. Okay, if the auxiliary is in the past, the verb we change to the, to the past. Exactly, because we eliminate it. Okay, I understand. Got it. And if it is in present, okay. either does or do, and it is third person singular, that means when we use he, she, or it, we need to modify the verb, okay? And here we have, in the question, we don't use the auxiliary verb do, Does or did? All right, now we have an example with simple past. How do we know this question is in simple past? How do we know? What auxiliary I, did? The auxiliary is? Did. Did, good. The verb move in will be in past for example exactly. do you know why you i'm sorry why you moved to chile excellent very good i was wondering okay that is my phrase i was wondering why you moved to europe Teacher, Tell me, miss. Y si en esa misma frase nosotros pusiéramos. Eh, y sabes de que hay uno. En México, creo. Hay uno, hay uno. ¿Cómo quedaría? Lo mismo. Sorry, sorry. One more time because I couldn't hear. Si ocupáramos, por ejemplo, would you tell me why you moved to Europe? El yes. move. También va a ir así como va ahorita. No cambiaría. Es decir, si lo hacemos como... Porque estoy viendo que algunas sí se les pone signo de pregunta y algo otras no, ¿verdad? Ah, aquí me faltó. <risas> ah, aquí sí la lleva. Sí, porque es una pregunta. Ah, ah yo pensé que era como que aquí no la llevaba en este caso. Why, yeah, I was wondering. Ah, pero es, no, esta no lleva porque... Como... ¿Verdad que no? Porque va, I was wondering. Ajá. Y si ocupáramos aquí, would you tell me? Could you. Ajá. Sí, en Ajá. Ese caso, porque could you es, está formulado Ajá. como una pregunta. Ajá. Pero siempre nos quedaría, would you tell me why you moved to Europe? El verbo queda en el mismo lugar. Why you moved. Sí, porque estamos refiriéndonos a un tiempo gramatical en el pasado. Ah, ok. Entonces, si estamos preguntando por qué se movió, por qué se fue, el verbo tiene que ir en pasado, sí o sí. Porque si lo deja ah. así nomás, estamos diciendo que la oración está en presente. Ah, ok. okay. Ahí, va a depender, ahí va a depender de la intención de la oración. Okay. O el tiempo gramatical de la oración. Ok. No sé si estamos claros hasta este punto. Is it clear? Me, yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Angel. All right.
Okay, and uh, how much does the iPhone 7 cost? In this, in this case, the how much does the iPhone 7 cost? Is it in present or in past? Present. Present, present. right? Because present in third person. Be, exactly, because the auxiliary it is does. That means that is in. I'm sorry, the, the auxiliary it is does. That means the sentence is in present. All right, good. Okay, and like Mr. Angel said, the subject, it is third person singular. That means that we need to add S to the verb. Okay, uh, we're going to have the, we're going to see the examples of the menu. Give me a second, please. Give me a second. I need to share with you. Hold on. Okay, well, now we're going to see the indirect questions, indirect question, but yes and no, yes and no. Okay, we're going to see the yes, no, indirect questions. Here, there is some, there are some changes. Okay, I'm going to show, I'm going to share a screen. If we have the indirect question, it's a yes or no question. Okay, then the indirect question will have if. Cuando utilizamos preguntas de sí o no, sí o no, vamos a utilizar, vamos a utilizar la palabra if, if, que significa sí, pero de una forma condicional. Okay, continuamos. Okay. Here we have an example. Does Tom like Italian food? Okay, la pregunta es sí o no, ¿verdad? Es una yes no question. Vamos a contestar si sí le gusta o no le gusta. No, no, no le está preguntando qué tipo de pizza. Le está preguntando si le gusta o no. En este caso, es una pregunta Yes or no question. Entonces, cuando utilizamos este tipo de pregunta, vamos a, a incluir un, una, fa, una frase introductoria, como las que ya estudiamos. Could you tell me? I was wondering. Eh, would it be possible? Another one that you remember? I would like to know. I would like to know. Ok, good. So, vamos a colocar la frase, la pregunta introductoria. Después de la, después de la, de la frase o la pregunta introductoria, vamos a, vamos a colocar if. If. Vamos a eliminar das y el verbo. Como estamos hablando de Tom y está en presente, debemos agregarle es. Es cuando se dice, eh, usted sabe si Tom le gusta la pizza italiana. Si a Tom le gusta la pizza italiana. Usted sabe si eh, Carlos estudia inglés. Okay, this is, that is an equivalent for yes or no question. Okay. 
And if means si. El if significa si. Si Tom le gusta la, piz la pizza italiana. Another example. Could you tell me if your parents are joining us for the dinner? Me podría decir si sus padres se unirán con nosotros a la cena? Okay, take a screenshot if you want. Okay, or write the information about direct and indirect question. Direct and indirect question. Ok, one more time. Recuerde, si la pregunta es yes or no question, a la hora de convertirla a indirecta o directa, tenemos que agregar la palabra if, que significa sí. Y sonaría como, do you, ¿sabe si, si a Tom le gusta la pizza italiana? Podría decirme si sí, sus padres eh, se unirán con nosotros a la cena. Okay, now it's time to practice. Where is the nearest bank? We're going to change it. We're going to change this question to a indirect. Where is the nearest bank? Vamos a pretender que usted no conoce a la pers a una a X persona y usted se la va le va a hacer la pregunta de una forma educada o muy formal. How would it, how would be this? Where is the nearest bank? I would, I would like to know exactly. where the nearest bank is. Bingo. Very good. I would like to know where the nearest bank is. I would like to know where the nearest bank is. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, why is that little baby crying? Maybe, do you know why that little baby crying is? Mm, let me see. Do you know? Do you know why that little baby crying is? Uh -uh. Is the in this case it would be like this. Do you know why? Why, why, is? why that? Why that? Why that little baby crying is? Mm, is why? crying. Is crying. Is crying. Oh. Mm -hmm. That. Esa es una oración en presente continuo. Entonces, lo que debemos hacer es convertirla a una oración sin. Okay. Ahorita está en pregunta. Lo que hacemos nosotros es convertirla a una oración sin. Do you know, you know why, why that, that little baby cry is? Baby. Little baby is crying. Like this. Oh, is crying. No, it's crying. It's crying. Do you know why that little baby is crying? Teacher. Hello. I have a question. Why, why do you use the, the phrase is should in this, in this case? Why do I what? I'm sorry? Why do I, I use the, the should? Should for the for the indirect question. Mm, for example, no, I don't know. 
Lo, lo que pasa es que no veo que, que ocupemos el should. En este caso solo he visto que ocupemos could, could. Y no, no, no vi que estuviera la, la, la frase ese should. Should. ¿Ya? En el manual creo que hay ejemplos con should. Ya vamos a ir a esa parte. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. Yo pensaba que era, I think so is, the you should, in, in this case, in, in the question. Yeah, you can use should in the direct question, but I didn't bring example using should. Maybe uh, we're going to have in the manual, I guess we have some example using should. Okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. No problem. All right. Uh, is there any water here? Is there any... Uh -huh. Is what? I'm sorry. I like to know. Okay, I like to know. I like to know. Esta es una pregunta, yes or no. Uh, I like to yes. know. Yes if, or no. If, Excellent. If, if, if there oh, any there water is, here. Yes. If there Whether is here, is there any water um, here? What are, okay. I like to know if there is any water here. Me gustaría saber si hay agua aquí. Simple, right? I like to know if there is any water here. Okay. Um, is he coming tomorrow? Is he is he coming tomorrow? Could you? Oh, I wonder. Do you know if you know? Do you know? Do you know? If. If. Excellent. If. He is coming tomorrow. He is coming tomorrow. He is coming. He is coming. Excellent. Very good. Do you know if he is coming tomorrow? Okay, how many cars does she have? How many cars? All right, good. Could you tell me? Oh, good. Tell me how many car she I'm sorry has? would you tell me how many cars you tell she, me has? she has excellent very good how many cars eliminamos das porque no pueden haber dos preguntas y sería she has she has she has, she has. perfect could you tell me how many cars she has very good okay excellent ah mr manuel I got it. Usted me pregunta por qué no hay frases introductorias utilizando should, ¿verdad? Yeah, cabal. Sí. Okay, I got your question now. Eh, no tenemos preguntas utilizando should porque should es más para eh, consejos, recomendaciones. En cambio, could, could, can, eh, would like son, would like. son eh, mm -hmm. verbos modales que se pueden utilizar, pa, utilizar para solicitar cosas de una forma cortés también. Ah, okay, 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 okay I, I understand. Thank you, thank you, teacher. But, uh, but I, I have a confusion. Uh, I, I have a confusion where, why, why is used the, the should. En, en, en esos casos. Mm -hmm. okay. Pero ya con su aclaración, si ya me queda más claro. Should, okay. should is for advice. For example, should I go to the doctor? 
uh, today I don't feel well. I I am I got the flu and I got uh, the flu. And you tell okay. me you should go to the doctor. It is okay. advice, recommendation. Okay, okay. Could, Thank you, teacher. Could, would like, can are modal verbs that we can use to request things in a polite form. To request. Okay, okay. Solicitar, request. Solicitar o pedir. Es un sinónimo. Okay. Thank request. you, teacher. All right. Now we have do they like swimming? Do they like swimming? I would like to know if if they like swimming. Excellent. I would like to know if they like swimming. Easy. Very good, miss. Okay. Um, what does what does she want? What does she want? I was no. wondering. <laughs> Excellent. I was wondering. What she wants? Uh, she wants. I was wondering what she wants. Okay. Usted meditando en la noche dice, estaba preguntando qué es lo que ella quiere. Okay. Está confused. Está meditando. Está reflexionando. El, el verbo wondering. Preguntarse a sí mismo. Wondering. I was wondering what she Nunca wants. I'm sorry. I was wondering what she wants. Es que Daniel es el que regala flores, teacher, en Ah, got no. Okay. All oh, right. He's a robin. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay. And this is the practice of indirect and direct and indirect question. Maybe you have some doubts right now but we're going to keep practice. We're going to have more exercise today and tomorrow. Okay, if you want to take a screenshot for this exercise, or if you want to take a picture, Okay. All right. So here we are. And now we're going to move on to the manual. We're going to move on to the manual. Okay, manual, it is page 28. 28. Okay, so uh, here in the manual, unit three, we have, we have the more introductory uh, phrases, such as, I wonder, me pregunto, I wonder, I like to know, we already studied this. Okay, also we have, would you mind telling us or telling me, could you find out? Aquí tenemos otras frases introductorias para sonar eh, polite o eh, con un grado de cortesía. 
So we have the sentences and we have, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. Number two, I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Should the quality control, uh, in another one, Martha, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will, will go very high? Could you find out, puedes encontrar, could you find out if the production manager is around? Okay, so we're going to complete the exercises. Number one, until number six. Number one until number six. Then we're going to compare our answers. Okay, page 28, exercise five. Yes, I can okay. see. And Only you see the 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 main or any or all the screen. The menu. Only no, the menu. only no no. I see the number five and the question. Uh, yes, yes. You say introductory phrases in questions yes. to write in direct yes, no question, compare, answer with a partner. Only uh, yes, no question. I understand mm -hmm. only yes, no right. question. Right, in the yes, and no question. And the same and the question. Can you tell me if the mach machinery is capable of performing this process? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Is can you tell me? Can you tell me if if the Maybe and the second I like to know but they will leave. No, I, I think I like to know how 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 much will the manufacture. Maybe. How can I see? Uh, how much? Tal vez. Creo, no, no estoy seguro. Porque dice si. Que we. Interfere, interfere, uh, question is, 
¿Lo ponemos por último? ¿O ¿Cómo? Excelente, I would like um, if, if the manufacturing by the machine produce creo que aquí también sería el porque dice I like to know will the manufacturer buy the new machine to produce or order and die entonces creería yo que este debería ser también que debería de llevar el, el if ¿qué piensan ustedes? Uh, no, no sabría decir que sí, sí o no. <risas> es que yo el pienso gozado, que en vez del Will, va a ir. I like to know. Quisiera saber si el fabricante este, compra nueva maquinaria para producir nuestra orden en tiempo. If en vez del will. ¿Me escuchan, no? Sí. O, o como decía, como how much, como cuánto. ¿Cuánto necesitaría de manufactura para comprar la nueva maquinaria? A mí esta sí me deja la duda. Ah, sí. Creo que pasa. Este, todo, todo, todo. Qué complicado está esto. I, I would like to know at this question. No, está bien. Pero en, ah. la indica, en la indicación, el will es presente continuo. Sí, ¿verdad? Yeah. Ajá, este sí se tiene que eliminar para hacer la, la pregunta indirecta, que sería yes, que sería if. Entonces, si no, no tendría que ir aquí. Y eh, el verbo acá, creo que sería, se tiene que modificar o no. No, no, no. Así creo que queda. If the manufacturer by now, by, by new. Vamos a ver. ¿En cuál? ¿En, ¿En la, la dos? dos? Sí. Ah, ¿Cómo decir que quedaría? Vaya, es el, el will ya no queda, sino que sería if the manufacturer by new mach, ma, machinery, machinery the produce or orders on time creo ya yeah. no no, no. no. Que podría ser quizás I was wondering I was wondering will be will the manufacture buy new etc porque estamos diciendo me gustaría saber si, si el fabricante comprará maquinaria nueva, uh -huh. la, 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 mejor eso, creo. Ajá. Sí, porque la, la frase indirecta ya la están dando, que Ajá. es all like to know. Es el indirecto. Okay. Ajá, entonces Ajá. sería I was wonder, wondering will the manufacturer, la, 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 la. Uh -huh. okay. Ah, I was wondering, like to know 
will the manufacturer? Or oh, solo, I was wondering, will the manufacturer buy? Except. No, creo que sería nada más. I was wondering if the manufacturer buy the infrastructure to produce. Porque en, si, no puede hacer doble, pre, doble ah, sí, cierto, pregunta. cierto, doble pregunta. ¿eh? No puede hacer doble, entonces solo puedes uh -huh. incluir nada más. I was wondering. Uh -huh. I was wondering, will the manufacturer buy, bla, bla, bla. Uh -huh. mm, yo creo que es, no lleva el will, el will se elimina. El will creo se que elimina. Solo, es nada más, I was wondering if the manufacturer buy new machine to produce. Uh -huh. así, así quedaría. No, sí lo lleva. Yo digo que sí lleva el will, pero bueno. ¿Y cuál era la primera? <ríe> Se me olvidó. <ríe> ah, ya me acordé con solo el if. La tercera solo sería Do you know if are the sketch of product? Pues sí que te quedó la tercera. Do you know if are the bla bla bla? Pero do you know estás, estás haciendo la pregunta y creo que ahí tendrías que cambiar la I like to know. Porque lo que necesitas es poner. El, I like el... to know. Yeah, it's true. I like to know if are the sketch doll, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And... Creo que el arc se quita ahí, ahí de un solo entras if the sketch doll. And production control for complete. Yo creo que es que yo creo que siempre va. No, porque eh, lo que haces es que lo mandas al final cuando es pregunta. Production are for complete. Entonces sería no if the schedule and blah, blah, blah. Ajá, cabal. Y esta cosa... If, if, no sería if, if. If, if, the sketch dog. No. Porque como sketch dog en producción estamos hablando de cosas. Estás hablando del horario de producción. Ah, y eso es como una cosa, por así decirlo. Entonces, if, quita el, se quita el no. D, sino que será if, if, it sketch dog and production control for complete. Do you know if o, o solo, only if. Creo que sí, sería el if it. Bueno. If it. If it. Ok. ¿Qué sería aquí? Hola, buenas noches. Está disculpar que no le pude contestar. Yo creo que igual funcionaría con I. I was wondering does the operation plan to try the process parameter. Pero ahí le tenés que quitar el das porque está, 
estarías metiendo doble pregunta. Entonces, you know, solo es, I was wondering, oh. y vas con el resto. If you... Are you done? Yes, teacher. How was it? Easy, difficult. It's a little confusing when we use will. Ah, okay. And I guess will has, it is in number two. And number two, yes. Okay. We want. I'd like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce or orders on time. Yeah, good. I guess you didn't have a problem because you did it good. You did it right. <laughs> Thank you. We, we invent, teacher. You invent. We invent. Yes. Invent. yes. <laughs> no. the, po the position of will. <laughs> this is the thing. If you have problem, for example, with simple present, simple past. You don't know what auxiliary is. You don't know why we pluralize the address. You will have problem with this kind of structure. So you need to study, for example, the simple past, the simple present, how to make questions. Okay, and if otherwise it would be very, very difficult. I see you got it easily, because you remember the rules from simple presence and simple past. Prácticamente lo, lo más básico es lo base, ¿verdad, teacher? Para todo lo demás. Exactly. Exactly. If you, if you have problem with the simple past, you will have problem making this kind of question. If you don't know when, what an auxiliary is, or if you don't know why do we use the? Why do we use do? When do we use does? It will, you will have problems. And those topics you study in basic one, basic two, basic, basic three. If, and if you don't practice, more difficult. Okay. But congratulations. We're going to check it out the exercise. We don't have okay. too much time. Hi. Okay. How was the exercise? It's so so, teacher. So so. Okay. We're going to check it out, actually. No, don't worry. Okay. Number one says, "Can you tell me is the machine capable of performing this process?" Hey, what? How do you have number one? I think is, can you tell me if the machinery capable of performing this process is? Can you tell me is? Um, if the, okay. the machinery? If, okay. Let me see, I guess the position of is it run because it is a yes and no question. But it's okay. Tell me number two. Number two. I like to know. I like to know if the manufacturer will buy new machinery to produce or orders on time. Got it. Thank you. Number two. Number three. Number three. Do you know if the schedule and production control form complete are? 
Okay. Uh, the thing is that this is a yes and no yes yes or no question. So we don't have where. We don't have the word where. Entonces, el verb to be tiene que ir después del sujeto. En este caso, do you know if the schedule eh, and the production control are complete? Are complete. Ah. Are forms complete. Exactly. I like to find out number four. Is the operation plan describes the process parameter? Excellent. Five. Do you have any idea if we will go for a small batch or mass production? Okay, and six, I was wondering. I was wondering if you received the quotes of the raw material provider. Got it. Okay, I'm going to show you the answer. Here you have. O sea, teacher, que si ocupamos el is, dejamos, no ponemos el, 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 el verbo is or are al final de la oración. No. No que lo ocupamos a la par del sujeto. Porque es una, es una yes, no question. Mm. Se recuerda que en la otra decía, can you tell me where the bank is? Where mm -hmm. the bank is. ¿Cuál es el sujeto en la oración? Where the bank is. The bank. The bank. Entonces, el verbo to be, en este caso, is, tiene que ir después del sujeto, ¿verdad? Que sería bank. En uh -huh. este caso, la, la número uno, can you tell me if the mm, machinery... Es que aquí tiene complemento la oración, ¿verdad? Exacto, por eso es... Hay complemento, pero tenemos que identificar el sujeto. En las demás, uh -huh. en, las, en las... En las otras de, do you know where the bathroom is? En eso no hay complemento. Solamente le está preguntando a dónde está el, el baño, por ejemplo, o el banco, o el restaurante. En este caso, sí hay un complemento. Pero el sujeto está después de, eh, perdón, el verbo está después del sujeto. If the machinery is, acá. Entonces también hay que encontrarle un poquito el sentido de la oración a la hora de convertirla um, a indirecta. Tomorrow we're going to continue practicing the indirect questions. Okay, we're going to practice either a yes, no question. Sorry, but tomorrow I'm going not Ah, no, tomorrow tomorrow have... mañana, teacher. No, siento. Right. Es el único día, teacher, de descanso. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Tomorrow is Saturday. But tomorrow I have classes. Okay, I'm so sorry. On Monday, on Monday, we're going to keep practicing the indirect question. Okay. Um, well, I need to take the attendance list. Okay, let's start. Benitez Ventura. Present, teacher. Marroquín Martínez. Present teacher. López Pérez. Um, Florentino García is here. Right? Present Alvarez. teacher. Thank you, Mr. Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Miranda Rodríguez. Miranda Rodríguez. Abelar Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Valdés Gómez. Here, teacher. Aguirre Chavarría. Thank you. Present. Merino González. Present. Ramírez Arevalo. Present teacher. Cuellar de Barrientos. Present. Ventura de Valdés. 
Galicia Gertrudis. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Galicia okay. Gertrudis. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Escamilla Jurado. Present teacher. Mancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Vázquez Romero. Flores Hernández. García Orellana. Present. Vázquez Vázquez. Gómez García. Present teacher. Present teacher. Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Good. Okay. Well, it's time to finish. See you on Monday. Okay. Class number 17 on Monday. So have a good one. Rest, sleep. And if you drink, don't drive. And if you drive, don't drink. <laughs> okay. okay. Happy okay. weekend. Good Happy night. weekend. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care.